I'm Dr. John McDougall, and I work in Santa Rosa, California, and I run a uh, live-in clinic where I take care of people who come to see me. They expect to get well. And one of the problems they come with is diabetes. I would say at least 10% of our people have diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is what we're talking about. And they're on a bag full of pills to lower their blood sugar or insulin shots to lower their blood sugar. The first night I meet with them, I tell them, you must stop all your diabetic pills and most are all your insulin. And they're shocked. They've never met me before. And here's this doctor who they don't know, they have no reason to believe, is asking them to stop some of their best friends with their medications. Something the other doctors told were really important for them to take. Well, if they don't do it, unfortunately what happens is too many of them end up with a real low blood sugar. And as a result, they end up falling down, passing out from too low of a blood sugar. That can be a real danger. So I have to try and get this uh, this very important message across to them that they need to get off their pills so they don't become hypoglycemic when we change them to a diet that makes everything work better, including their insulin. And most of them listen that first night. And then I have another task, and that's a tough one, and that's to convince them. And fortunately, all the scientific literature is behind me. Yes, there are three major studies that were published in the New England Journal of Medicine in 2008. They are the Accord, the Advance, and the veteran study that show that if you aggressively treat type 2 diabetics with pills and insulin and multiple blood tests, the consequences are that they do poorly. That's right. In fact, in the Accord study, they had to stop it a year early but it, because it increased the risk of death and heart attacks in those that were aggressively treated. So my task when I take care of people is get them off the medication as quick as possible when they're in my program so they don't get sick and then to convince them that long term they need to stay away from these drugs. And even better yet, they ought to cure their disease and they can do that by the right diet, a bit of exercise, and associated weight loss. I'm Dr. John McDougall.